hi guys welcome back to spice channel tv i know most of us might be wondering why seliu lukman the former apc chieftain had you know resigned from the all progressive congress and he said some certain things regarding the apc and president bolad Tinibu's administration now, following his resignation from the All Progressive Congress, the former National Vice Chairman, Northwest of the All Progressive Congress, has said that APC has done badly in meeting its campaign promises. He acknowledged the government's shortcomings. Lukman had admitted that the APC's performance on key campaign promises like security, economic stability, and anti corruption has been totally poor noting how he was very hopeful and he believed that the new leadership would depart from the practices of the previous administration under the former president Mohamed Buhari. Instead, there seemed to be a continuation of the same ineffective strategies. And guys, when we talk about campaign promises, Tinibu had promised to deal on the security issues, the issues of the economy, the issues of fighting corruption. And it seems that Tinibu has done woefully. These people have failed to keep their campaign promise. Now, the thought of if APC is worse than PDP, well, you can't compare what has happened to Nigeria between 2015 and 2023. You can't compare because the evidence is there. We've landed up in a war situation so those who are criticizing the all progressive congress are quite sure of what they are doing the former national vice chairman of the apc had noted that one of the continuous decisions made by ashwedu bolad metinibu's administration was the immediate declaration of the end of the petroleum subsidy on his inauguration day this move he criticized for its lack of planning and preparation, stating that it was a quick decision that led to a significant deterioration in the country's condition. And furthermore, it appears, it appears that Tinibu has no plan of backing up this his removal of four subsidy. And this is one of the biggest mistakes that Tinibu has made. He went ahead, he removed the petroleum subsidy without anything on ground, and now the country is crashing, the economy is crashing, but I admit Tinibu's decision has not been friendly to the people. Now, this is coming from an inside out an all progressive congress ex chieftain we won't say present chieftain because he recently tendered his resignation and lukman has always criticized the government's major spending on infrastructure projects like the lagos calabar coastal highway while neglecting urgent needs in education in our health sector and they've been highlights that the allocation for education is insufficient, you know. But now look at the Ashwedi Bolad Metinibu's administration has decided to embark on this, you know, huge project, which cost about 15 trillion naira. And you know that this thing is not really important. There are so many things in this country. The government should prioritize on the well-being and the condition of living of the citizens in this country. There have been issues of education, of health, social welfare. All this should be priority. All this should be the important steps. Ashwedi Bolat Red Tinibu would have taken. But instead, hardship has ravaged the country. Look at the major, the, the major decision the president has taken. Spending 15 trillion naira on the Lagos uh, Calabar Coastal Highway. Imagine... If this amount of money is being invested in education, in terms of where we have where we have about um, ten million out of school children in the north, and this you know these problems has not been solved, and yet the president is embarking on the uh, Abu the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway. So guys, this is quite interesting. The fact that. Um, the ex-APC chairman had really criticized the administration of President Bolad Tinibu's and how they have failed woefully. The, the ex-APC chieftain also tendered his resignation and noted that he's going back to the trenches and even vowed that the APC will not win in the 2027 elections, except they used another method, which is rigging 
the elections. Yes, my country people, he made quite some, you know, revelations during this interview where he noted that even the elections that they won in 2023, he's still wondering how come Nigerians voted for the APC. I mean, he noted that there were quite some rigging activities that took place. And this is more like an eye opener to, to the existing knowledge that Nigerians have of this APC's administration, how they tend to maneuver their, 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 their ways to power, how they maneuver their moves to power. They took power, you know, forcefully from the people without the people handing over this power to them. Now, I wonder how 2027 will be like the future of 2020, the, the, the future of APC ahead of the 2027 elections is quite uncertain as they would feel woefully, according to uh, Seliu Lukman. There is a saying that Rome wasn't built in a day. President Bola Admiratinibo has been engaging, encouraging Nigerians to keep trusting in his administration to deliver on all their campaign promises. President Bola Admiratinibo's administration so far has been filled with sufferings and pains. Let's not talk about how he removed the full subsidy, how he floated the Naira, and ever since then, Nigerians have been paying for it. So this has led to an issue of lack of trust for the government. Because imagine an administration whereby we are complaining of economic hardship. But yet, the government spends so much money buying SUVs worth millions of naira for our lawmakers in this kind of economy. They spend so much money on irrelevant things when they ought to look at the welfare of the people. We know that poverty is a menace that has plunged this nation. During the administration of the former president, Mohamed Bari, he tried fighting it, but, I mean, it did not work. Now, Tinibu has stepped into his position. We have a lot of problems in this country. But, you see, the APC has not been managing these problems they are only trying to bring little, little solutions, but they are not going to the, the, the root of these problems. They are not addressing the root of these problems. You see, most APC chieftains tend to back and support these governments by claiming that Stinibu's administration has only been one year and Nigerians should be patient to give this administration time to deliver on their campaign promises. But I see uh, Selyu Lukman as the only APC chieftain that has been speaking against this government. But for how long shall Nigerians wait for the Tinibu's administration to deliver on all their campaign promises? So guys, I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comment section. Thank you.